All right, so today we have a SX-70 to repair. Here it is, it's uh, in good shape. The shiny variant. Let's open it up and take a look. All right, so buttons there. The lens doesn't look very nasty at all. Which is good. That looks clean. There is some damage. What the hell that could be for is beyond me. It's as if someone tried to use pliers on this. But anyways. This uh, camera, I already looked it up, is uh, dated uh, August 20th, 1973. There's my serial number right there. And uh, it's got a hybrid shutter in it, so hopefully it isn't a Fairchild shutter. Let's open up it and take a look. Um, okay, that's good. It has an X instead of an F, so it, it might have a Texas Instruments board in it. Uh, let's see. Huh. Okay, I see this a lot, very common... This is, seems to be a very common thing. It seems people used to put paper on these cartridges and stuff them in when they were storing the camera. I guess it's to protect and keep the mirror from being dusty. And to be honest, the mirror looks dust-free, so it did its job. But, oh, yeah, it's a little, little, little uh, gummed up. Got a little... Some on those rollers, but they don't. They spin pretty freely. I'll give them that. Let's uh, put a put a the cartridge in there. To make a test cartridge, what you do is you just push down on that, feed the test pictures in. These are all failed pictures, so I don't care what happens to these. This will be to just see if it ejects photos and does its thing like it should. And put in my Star Dark slide. Alright, let's put it in. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. Possible the rollers need to be cleaned. Or, yeah, let me start, eh, let me just put a fill in there. And, oh, lovely. Oh. Try and take a picture. I don't know if you see it, but it's functioning as is. Functions, but it's not ejecting. That's possible because the rollers are dirty. Uh, let's see, does somebody fuck with the pick arm? No, I don't think anyone did. No, it's fine. Okay, I have an idea. It may or may not work. I don't know. A clean microfiber. Well, as clean as it'll ever get. Microfiber towel, and then you want to. Some alcohol in here, and then you just want to wipe. Oh, yeah, that's already getting it's already getting gummy. This is how you fix the roller issue, it makes it gummy.
I'm noticing it's getting more harder to do this. Alright, now it's gummy. Let's try it again. I don't think the... Uh... No, it's still not ejected. So let's put that one back. Try a different one. I'll try that one. Why not? Okay. That cartridge is faulty. Yeah, that cartridge was faulty. I'm gonna clean our uh, oh. That's fixed. Okay, so it seems to be a functioning camera. It seems to function really good. Put this back on. There. Well, let me look in the viewfinder. Let's see how dirty it is. It's pretty dirty. Yeah, not very easily focused. So we need to adjust that. But yeah, this is the camera that changed everything. Probably wondering why I, why I have another one. Well, the other one just snapped a gear and broke on me. And, uh, yeah, so second one. All right, let's, um... Let's take a look in this one. Let's see what kind of shutter we have. This has never been fucking open. Alright. Let's take a look. Oh, we got a Texas Instruments. Hooray. And it's not... Wow, that's early. We got a Texas instrument. Oh, there's some hair in there. Yeah, it's like the same thing. It looks... Oh, yeah, that's pretty dirty in there. Ah, the board. I think I have an Alpha 1 board. It's got a 3 pin flash, which explains why that still works. Why the. Uh, Sonar flash works with this because it's meant for Alpha 1 cameras. So it does actually work on this. I think I got lucky. But somebody's definitely been in here reworking all the solder. It looks definitely like it's been tampered in. That's fine now. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, look at that. But it looks stock. Well, that works just fine. Yeah. I don't think I have to do much to this this area because the um yeah the electric eye is crusty, but that's not a problem. Check under here, see if we have. Oh, I think it is painted. No. I don't think it's painted, actually. No, I don't think that's painted at all. I think it's still good. I'm going to take this off. It's a little dusty, but that's about it. This moves free as can be. I don't think I'm going to mess with any of that doesn't need it. 
What it does need is capacitor changed, and I gotta look up if this is alpha one or not. Look how shiny and good condition that is. That, that's incredible. I'm gonna put that uh, somewhere safe. That's back on. Keep that stuff safe while I get this panel. All right, now I'm gonna get this uh, backing off with a with my mother's Conair uh, hair dryer. Well, this might help it. Anything to get the uh, the glue to soften. Got it off. It's got like a brass coating on it. Let me find a thing to stick it on. Why not on the mop? That'll work. I can get this off. that off. Now I can take that. It looks fantastic in here. Whoop. My bad. It looks good in here. This looks like it's in good shape. The motor Kinda looks like it was replaced. The, uh, I think this has got a replacement uh, coupler in there. The motor's got corrosion on it. Before I do anything there, I'm gonna take this off. I'm take this off. Okay, got the iron running. Okay. One shutter housing off. side. Now we can work on it. Okay. I 
think that went like that. Yeah, went like that. Okay. I think it's a capacitor on it. I don't know what that is. Brushes look good. I'm wondering what the hell this mysterious component Mysterious component wrapped around this thing. Weird. Alright, let's take a look at our motor. Pull out our motor. It's a little crusty. Motor's a little crusty. Even the replacements just crumble. Yeah, that wasn't going to last forever. Spring method is better. Like people in the trash. Yeah, I'll I'll show you what to do with this piece, but uh, take it step by step. Doesn't have that much wear on it. With the brushes probably wasn't used too much in its lifetime because it was just a matter of um, 1980 that they came out with the uh, well. It was just a matter of time. In a few years, uh, they came out with. The XX70 sonar, and that's what kind of replaced these because it had autofocus and everything you could have ever wanted. I'm also going to glue this back on. All right, so when you're cleaning your commutator, you want to put the uh, piece into the um. Chuck, because we're using this as a lathe. Then you want to take a piece of sandpaper, just like this. Is this thing gonna focus? No. I'm gonna put it. Take a piece of sandpaper and uh, put it on there. You want to run it. And look, clean. And keep in mind, you want this in reverse. You want the arrow pushed in. You want it counterclockwise, reverse. You don't want it forward where it would screw in. You would definitely destroy the windings. And I'm using 120 grit sandpaper. Oh, I should not be doing that with the camera up there, but... Do this some some bit of time. Keep in mind my drill's a little bit a little bit uh, tired. So. There it is, nice and clean. No carbon buildup anymore. And, uh, and something I do, I spray with a little isopropyl alcohol to make sure it's clean. Yeah, clean commutator. Get that dry. Okay. 
Okay, now I just gotta take out these pins. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I gotta clean up this. This has markings on it. Let me show you this. So there's markings all over this, like right here. DB2... 218. There's a mark in there, and then there's a marker there for B baffle, I guess. And it looks like maybe remnants of glue. It's weird. It's pretty crusty inside though. Quite crusty in fact. The, the baffles look good. Shine a light through them. Don't see any pin holes. Yeah, as you can see the uh, mirror needs a clean and it's pretty filthy. But as you see it doesn't have the round circles to help you focus. And that mirror is actually pretty clean too. So it just needs a cleaning. Clean these type of mirrors, nice and soft. Let me get the Windex. And now you want to rub it in. Let the mirror itself guide your cleaning cloth. I'm gonna wipe this mirror. That's the mirror. It's as clean as it'll get. Oh, make sure that this piece is still intact. Because that's what makes contact to the tape counter. To the film counter, I mean. Now I'm going to clean out. The uh, bellows here. So I got my cheat sheet of how to do this. So now I'm gonna okay. 
Okay, now we're putting the camera back together. We surface this. Uh, let's first uh, start by cleaning this stuff. I'm going to clean the electric eye and I'm going to convert it to 600. So, let's see. I can see it, but the eye is clean. I'm gonna clean it some more. Just go in there with a Q-tip and go to town, basically. That's better. Definitely did something. Convert it. We can see we have a green capacitor in this. So that's probably 800 picofarad. But we won't know until we get rid of it. Take it out. One, that's one side of it. And here's the other side. Got it. Got it out. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Didn't do too shabby either. All right, let's measure this tiny little thing. Good. All right, let's see. Um, what picofarad this is. Doesn't seem to understand it. I don't know. It's getting replaced with 150 picofarad. That's all I know. That is converted to um, it's called temporary. Look at that. An instant. Do that. I'll turn off that first. 
Mm. Quite happy with that. I gotta put something on that so it cannot have a chance of shorting to the case. I don't have any fancy tape, but I got some electrical tape, so this will do. This will do for now. I need to put it in. There we go. Nice. All right, that's done. Now I'm going to clean that lens because I got smudges on it. Where'd that go? There it is. We have the SX70 repaired. Let me show you it in action. Now, I can't see through it. I can't use the first two with it, but I can do this. And I can take this off. Diffuser. Yeah, the camera is ready for a pack of film. It's restored. It works. It works with the flash. Well, hopefully. I haven't tested with the flash with the actual picture, but it's all functional. And I did a modification. I added a tripod mount to this camera. It's ready to take memories. So uh, soon I'll get a pack of film and I'll show you what this thing can do. How our restoration turned out. So thank you for watching. I'm happy with how this turned out. So see you in the next video. Bye.